affirmations free Pray, really chosen It's a pleasure to be on the beat Do you a favor, educate yourself on Elohim The one and only In this life you gotta watch for phonies round the block Trying to taint your soul Cause the devil want what you got And you don't even know it And I stood upon the sands of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads, as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And it was given unto him to make war with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given to him over all kindreds, and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose name are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world if any man have an ear let him hear and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he do great wonders, so that he make fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceive them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. I read all that to say this. Revelations chapter 13 clearly identifies the tradition that is being exalted above Yahuwah's fourth commandment, and that is the Sabbath day. The papacy is using the traditions of men to successfully replace the Sabbath day of worship with Sunday worship, which papacy describe as the mark of papal authority in the world. And just as Yahuwah has his mark as the Sabbath day, so also does Satan through papacy find himself a mark called Sunday worship. To back up the fact that the Sabbath is Yahuwah's seal or mark, let's take a look at Exodus chapter 31 verses 16 and 17, where it says, Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, to observe the Shabbat throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. That means forever. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. Now there's a very deep mystery in verse 17 that only can be understood through the Holy Spirit. It says, For in six days Yahuwah made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. There's a reason that this is mentioned specifically, because each day something different was made, meaning every single day of the week was different. This means that there's absolutely no way that these days would be interchangeable. You cannot switch day one out with day two, or day four with day five. Neither can you switch out day one with day seven and say that day one is your Sabbath day, because Yahuwah specifically created the Sabbath day on day seven. And in day one, he specifically separated the light from the darkness, and he called the day light, and he called the night darkness. And this is why the Most High refers back to how he set the example for us to keep the Sabbath day. 
Just a quick side note for those who may not know what papal means. It means of or relating to a pope or to the Roman Catholic Church. Just in case you may not know this either, most religions branch off from the Roman Catholic Church. So while everyone's fighting over religion and saying, no, this religion is right and this is the most accurate or no, this is better, it all is really just the same. So all religion roads lead back to Roman Catholicism in which is the Church of Satan. Did you know that the papal tradition is directly contrary to one of the Ten Commandments that the papacy changed? The Bible predicted that the beasts will think to change times and laws. Notice that the seventh day Sabbath of rest was changed to Sunday rest. Notice that the holy feast days were changed to holidays. The other changes that the beast made include the name of the Father, Yahuwah. He changed it to the Lord. The name of the Son, Yahushua. He changed it to Jesus. Indeed, the beast perfectly achieved his ambition, changing the Sabbath to Sunday, also by changing Yahuwah's calendar to the Roman Gregorian calendar. Did you know that the papacy is not in denial of his own mark of authority in the earth? The traditions of men are so vile in Yahuwah's eyes that if people continue to obey the papacy's traditions while knowing full well that they are contrary to Yahuwah's commandments, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahuwah. That can be found in Revelations chapter 14 and 10. At this point in the game, it is imperative that you all do your own research and find out what this mark is because this will be the defining factor in separating the sheep from the goat. But I can tell you now that all evidence, Bible precepts, and historical facts point to the mark of the beast being Sunday service to include this entire wicked world system. As previously stated, Sunday is the first day of the week and keeping Sunday as your Sabbath of worship is directly going against the fourth commandment in which can be found in Exodus chapter 20 and starting at verse 8 in which reads, Remember the Shabbat day by keeping it holy. You see, what people fail to realize is that the Bible contains the words of Yahuwah, not the words of men. You see, Satan is the one who gave the Catholic Church its power and great authority to cause people of the world to worship him. Since the papacy is doing the bidding for the devil, it is now clear that Satan through the deceptive activities of humans is purposely breaking the fourth commandment where Yahuwah tells us to keep the seventh day Sabbath holy. What side are you on? Do you continue to embrace the papacy's ultimate goal, Sunday observance? that do not call on Yahuwah's proper name? Or will you receive the great mark or sign of Yahuwah's Shabbat, power and authority that showcase that you belong to Yahuwah? If you claim that you're observing the Sabbath and it's any other day of the week besides the seventh day, you are transgressing the law. You're walking in error and time is ramping up. You absolutely do not want the Hamashiach to return and you're observing any other day of the week and not the seventh day Sabbath. The seventh day Sabbath is a mark between Yahuwah and his people and this is how he's going to separate the sheep from the goat. I hate to keep beating a dead horse by mentioning this eclipse, but you know, going forward from April 8th, we don't know what's about to happen, so it is very important that we get our houses in order. One major issue that the children of Israel have is that the Most High said, we don't even want to consider the truth. If you tell the average Christian that Sunday is not the day of rest, they will fight you tooth and nail. They'll come up with all kinds of doctrines and the problem is, 
they won't even consider to go look and see if what you're telling them could possibly be true. And this is why the Bible says that we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We will not even consider going to search the scriptures to see if the message that was brought to you is in fact correct. This concludes my message. May the Most High bless you and keep you all safe in these dark times. Remember the Shabbat to keep it holy. It is the fourth commandment. It is a mark between you and the Most High. Also remember Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. He that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. Stay holy, Israel. And until my next video, Shalom. Just Let's get it. Y'all's chosen who you wanna be. Hey, cause y'all's coming, information's free. Pray, really chosen, it's a pleasure to be on the beat. Do you a favor, educate yourself on Elohim, the one and only. In this life, you gotta watch for phonies round the block. Trying to taint your soul, cause the devil want what you got. And you don't even know it. You thought you saved yourself, trying to play heroic. Keep every Sabbath holy, Bibles open, untold stories that can't go unnoticed. Enoch saw everything, they don't want you to know it. Facts, they ripped it out, we trying to bring it back. Yeah, like bench seats in a Cadillac. 